were here looking at Japan, he would not say, well, let me explain to you how this could happen. It's a hard thing. Jesus would say, the rest of you should be surprised it hasn't happened to you. God's spokesman on Christian television. When anything happens like the earthquake in Japan, or quick to jump up and tell us that God was somewhere else. And God says, that earthquake, mine. The tsunami, mine. I did that. I am God. And there is no other. Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. Well, if earthquakes are a punishment to mankind for our sin, then why are the only people being punished those who live near seismically active fault lines? Does human wickedness only happen along the edges of crustal plates? If earthquakes are a sign of anything, they're a sign that crustal plates are continuing to move just as they have for millions of years, and the Earth's geology is pretty much the same as it's been since the Cambrian. If anything was going to herald some supernatural end of the world, it would surely be if the Earth's crustal plates stopped moving and we got no earthquakes. Ironically, in this age of science and reason, it's easier than ever to set yourself up as a sagacious prophet. All you need is to have a basic knowledge of seismic geology and an audience that doesn't. Jesus said this of the Tower of Siloam. If Jesus were here looking at Japan, he would not say, well, let me explain to you how this could happen. It's a hard thing. Jesus would say, the rest of you should be surprised it hasn't happened to you. This solves, by the way, that great apologetic stumper. Why do bad things happen to good people? Because they live on tectonic faults!